Dear friends, has your heart ever felt distant from God? Have you ever wondered if you've somehow lost the salvation that once brought you peace and joy? Today, I want to talk about five alarming signs that you may have lost your salvation, and more importantly, how you can find your way back to the arms of our loving Savior. First, indifference to sin. The first sign is a growing indifference to sin. When you're walking closely with God, sin bothers you. It convicts your heart. But if you find yourself becoming increasingly comfortable with sin, brushing it off as unimportant or normal, this is a serious warning sign. The Bible tells us in 1 John 3 9, no one who is born of God will continue to sin. If sin no longer grieves your spirit, it may be because your connection with God has weakened. Second, loss of desire for prayer, and the word the second sign is a loss of desire for prayer and the word of God. When you were first saved, you couldn't get enough of God's presence. Prayer and reading the Bible were like breathing to you. But if you now find these things to be a burden, or have stopped altogether, your spiritual life is in danger. Your soul is starving without the nourishment of God's Word, and it's a clear indication that something is terribly wrong. Third, a life driven by the flesh. Another sign that you've lost your salvation is living a life driven by the flesh rather than the Spirit. Galatians 5, 16 urges us to walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. If you're constantly chasing after worldly pleasures and material things, while neglecting your spiritual growth, it's a red flag that your priorities have shifted away from God. Fourth, lack of love and compassion. The fourth sign is a lack of love and compassion for others. Jesus said that the greatest commandments are to love God and to love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 37-39 If your heart has grown cold and you no longer care about the well-being of others, it's a sign that the love of God is no longer flowing through you as it should. Fifth, absence of the Holy Spirit's conviction finally. One of the most frightening signs is the absence of the Holy Spirit's conviction. When you sin but feel no remorse and there's no inner prompting to repent, it means you've silenced the voice of the Holy Spirit in your life. This is a critical sign that you're far from God's saving grace. How to get it back? If any of these signs resonate with you, it's not too late. God's mercy is endless, and He is always ready to welcome you back. Start by repenting, acknowledge your sins, and turn away from them. Pray earnestly for God to restore your relationship with Him. Return to the Bible and immerse yourself in His Word. Seek fellowship with other believers who can encourage you and hold you accountable. Conclusion Remember, your salvation is precious, and God desires to keep you in His embrace. If you've lost your way, don't despair, run back to the Father, and He will restore your soul. Thank you for watching. If this message has touched your heart, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more spiritual guidance and encouragement. God bless you.